So if you want a transparent animation made in Blender, you just have to change a few settings. Go to Film and turn on Transparent. In Output, make sure RGBA is enabled in Color. And then just hit the Render button. And here we have the files. PNG RGBA. It's 87.5. But if you really, really want to just have a video file, you'll have to switch to FFmpeg video and set an encoder that supports it. For example, QuickTime with the video codec QTRLE slash QT animation. And remember to hit RGBA in color. And it really doesn't matter what you set here for the bitrate. So this file is 96.2 megabytes. It's actually bigger than the PNG file. It's just a tiny little bit. But the nice thing is you can actually use it straight away in Premiere. It actually works out of the box. Here we have it working in Shotcut, for example. Or in Olive. But this was only two seconds. 100 megabyte for two seconds might be, might be too much for you. Well, there are some formats that allow transparency, for example, HUF, YUV, or PNG, but they pretty much generate the same file sizes, and I don't think anything is as well supported as Qt Animation. But with WebM slash VP9, you can actually get compressed transparent video. So set it to WebM and uh, VP9, and then render it. Which actually seems to be taking much longer for encoding. Here we have a file. I guess it's still finishing up rendering. Zero bytes, it surely is not. Okay, and it's done. And it's freaking less than a megabyte. And it seems to look fine. There's definitely compression there. You can see it in the face, but at least it's not as laggy, at least in VLC. But unfortunately, it's so badly supported. In Premiere, I did install a WebM plugin, but it doesn't help. Yeah, it just has black background, as you can see. First, we have the two uh, QT animation, and then we have the WebM. One, two, and then three. So yeah, does not work in Premiere. In Olive, let's add it to the timeline and see what happens here. Same thing. One, two... Free. WebM eradicates the effort. But in Shotcut, surprisingly, it actually works. Let's add another uh, video track. Put it right there. And take a look. One, two, three. So in Shotcut of all the software I tested so far, it actually works. You know what? I'm going to also test Kadian Live. All right, let's start with QT animation. Yes, it works. And now WebM animation. Yes, it works as well. Kdn Live and Shotcut can handle it. Very nice. But the very sad truth is that Blender can't handle what it exports. I did the same tests already with some very basic animation in uh, Blender. And I rendered it at different formats. And if I try to play a video inside a scene that's supposed to have transparency, Using the VP9 encoder, same file, this is what we see, unfortunately. If I use Qt animation, it works. If I use WebM animation, it has a black background. Right, so here it works with the old footage as well. WebM, not so much. So yeah, Blender is able to render a compressed, transparent format. But unfortunately, it doesn't know what to do with it, if you try to use it as a video texture at least. Maybe this is just a bug, hopefully it will be resolved in, I don't know, Blender 3. Until then, you will have to use PNG sequences or QT animation. I hope this gave you some insight, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!